even the rich are getting robbed by the money laundering i mean the taxes that the federal government's policy is implemented for god knows how long now so nfl uh defensive lineman eric armstead has been going virally off tiktok after he shared his paycheck highlights and showed how much he had to pay in taxes so he plays for my team the san francisco 49ers um, revealed how much he uh, gets paid and how much is deducted from his paycheck every pay period for taxes and it is a shit ton of money almost half 50 percent of his hard-earned money gets taken out of his check and goes directly to the government in which the government wires that money to either ukraine or israel this man gets 50 percent of his money taken out in taxes that is an outstanding number listen i'm not a millionaire probably won't be a millionaire well let's not speak about that i probably will be a millionaire but not anytime soon but the fact that a man who works hard for his money lives in san francisco an expensive ass state in california probably has kids probably has a wife that he has to provide for gets 50 percent of his hard-earned money taken out is just ridiculous to me and it's flat out theft so before we go to the video let's you know kind of recap what the video is going to say um eric Astor obviously revealed that eric armstead posts his paycheck on tiktok and notes that the 49ers defensive tackle makes three hundred and ninety three thousand dollars and fifty three hundred ninety three thousand and fifty five dollars excuse me per game however the 29 year old earns a hundred ninety eight thousand dollars after taxes that is fucking ridiculous which accounts for 49.3 percent difference between his gross and net pay now again he didn't do this to kind of flex how much he makes or all oh, yada 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 i'm a big shot like he said you could google his salary it's all over the internet okay he recently signed a five-year 85 million dollar contract on march 16 2023 so he's in the third year of that deal with about 45.85 million guaranteed over the lifetime of the deal and 34 million guaranteed when he signs but that's probably looking like more 17 million dollars because the government gets their little grubby hands on this man's hard-earned pay and especially the middle class knows exactly how that feels since they are barely scraping by the money that they make in this ridiculous economic times that the dumbasses in washington have put us through but enough of me blabbering let's take a look at the video of him breaking down his pay stub i want you guys to see how actual nfl game check works let's break it down quick disclaimer here my salary is on google so you can look up how much i make this is for motivational and educational purposes only i'm not here to flex on anybody i've been extremely blessed in my life and i work nice hard beat. and i do make yeah, about it, um, a substantial amount of money but this is this isn't to flex on anybody this is so people can understand and see um, how it works in the NFL. So whenever I get my game check, the first number I look at is this number right here. And it says amount. And I know that means that's what hit my account. When you want to make yourself a little sad, then you go back up to the top and look at what you're supposed to get at this number right here. The earnings section breaks down what you made essentially. So I have a P5BW, which the code for that means paragraph five, which means like your base salary, what you're supposed to make. Now, last year, the team converted my salary into a signing bonus for cap relief. So majority of the money I made was in the form of signing bonus, as you can see right here hmm. with this pay code. That's what Well, now look right there. It looks like, yeah, 398,210 net wages, $2 million and fifty. Two million and fifty nine gross wages year to date four million one hundred eighty thousand. I'm just reading at the bottom right corner of the screen. All right. What I got in the form of signing bonus, and this is what I got in the form of salary, which totals to here. That's fucking insane. That's insane. Okay, well, Kyle, I don't know if the numbers were a little bit different, but you saw from the clip again. He's Eric Armstead on Twitter on TikTok. Easy to find, but the fact that again the government takes half your shit, um, and you don't see one third of that comes tax season is pretty fucking crazy and ridiculous to me. Again, when they when we're in the middle of a rent crisis where people have to pay mortgage prices just to get a one fucking bedroom studio apartment, where we're sending billions upon billions of dollars to other country like Ukraine, like Israel, when the homeless 
interest rate in the United States is skyrocketing through the roof where there's an illegal immigrant crisis that's happening where we're taking more people and we have nowhere to fucking store them. They are continuing to take more taxes every single year. And the main people who feel this or the middle class workers now he's still good he's still a millionaire i don't want to see half of 309 of 300 plus taken at my account but he's gonna be all right it's the people who don't even see what he makes in a year the 60 70 80 thousand dollars a year worker who gets almost half of that taken out that needs to be done people gotta understand this and we come on social media we bitch moan and we complain how can we have not done anything to overthrow the government? Because taxes were not implemented for our benefit. It was implemented for their own benefit. They was like, hmm, you know, the American people, they make a lot of money. How can we come up with a policy or a way to take what they make? And they came up with bullshit taxes. Because you notice the more and, and people want to say, well, oh, why do I just go out and make more money? Well, the more that you make, the more that they take. The more money you make, the more that they are going to take out. And you don't see half of that, not even one third of that when it comes to tax return season. So they are just robbing people blind of their money, doing it, uh, get, doing it for other God forsaken reasons that we don't know. Most of them are profiting it or they're sending it over to other countries while people here are barely scraping by in this ridiculous economy that these Nimrods in Washington have put us through taxes need to go away all right they wanted they tried to come out with something a couple months ago oh well you know the government's think about abolishing the irs fuck abolishing the irs abolish taxes you are taking money from us for no fucking reason are either profiting it or sending overseas meanwhile people here are struggling because you decided to raise every little thing that included air here on u.s soil so how about you change that instead of continuing to take more of these people taxes now again arm said we'll be all right i don't want you know i don't want nobody taking money especially if they work hard for it they busted their ass to get that but that's not the point of this video here my main message and what i'm trying to say is nobody should be getting that much money taken out their paycheck to something that they worked hard for nobody should be getting taxes taken out their paycheck period but refer to back to the old days where whatever you worked for you get to keep because you get taxed on your money before it even hits your account. Then when you go out and you purchase stuff, that's tax. There's a sales tax. Then you got a fee tax. Then you got a state tax. You get taxed when you put gas in your car, when you buy groceries, when you buy clothes. So pretty much they're just like, here's your money. Thank you. Give it back to us. You get a pay stub and you give it right back to the fucking government because they collect every single thing in taxes. This is modern day slavery. We just don't see it, or at least don't realize it. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Do you agree, disagree? Leave your comments down below, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Deuces.